Yes, not only are you going to see the face that has the skeleton that he has metaphored, the skull that is the image of the x-ray that has been pulled out of the Mona Lisa, that is in color, okay, that is in my painting, which is like one and a half of a grain of sand blown up for you to see, you are going to see it one hour later how my painting is all over the back of the Mona Lisa's back of the painting. I'm telling you, it is so magnificent, it's not even funny. Listen, listen. So, what I'm going to tell you is here is the setup. This, uh, this is the setup. It's plain and simple. Just follow me through, and it's going to be ugly in the sense of some of the images. But in the end, I'm going to pop up that one particular image that ought to make you smile. Listen, this is the old... Uh, excuse me, I'm so excited. This is the, sorry lady, I don't want to call you older before what your time. <laughs> you are the younger Mona Lisa. Boom. You are the older Mona Lisa, me, Dion, a diary of Da Vinci. Now, when you take the Mona Lisa and you take the right eye, which is the left eye, and you flip it upside down, you're going to see this particular image when you put it upside down. It's very extremely difficult to see, but I'm going to point it out for you. This so happens to be the portion which so happens to be of which gives the bird look, and this is the x-ray in which they pulled out of the Mona. In this eye, if you take a look, there's a dot and a dot and this little slant nose in which he buries it. Well, this particular bury piece so happens to be part of the V, of the V in which he lines up. He V's and lines it. This is what it is. So when he turns around and you overlay this, this so happens, and just want to let you know, it actually, bam, sits in there, which is kind of ironic because if you take a look, you'll see this moon, this moon shape. You would assume that the moon shape, because of the cut, would be hidden in here. I still believe it is. But what's funny is coming up, well, hopefully is on the next photo, is what I'm going to show you. Now, this is not the highlight. Don't give up. This is something in which you really have to understand. Okay, so this particular image so happens to be the same thing, the eye. But if you pay attention to this, is the x-ray. Now, this is the Mona that I just pulled up. This is the x-ray out of the Mona. This is the Mona's eye that is a full color. If you see the cut and the turn, how it cuts through here, this portion, if you were to blank it out, you can see the cut line and how he gives you this image. This so happens to be the moon. And this so happens to be the image in which he hides. So he didn't put in this one, on this pole, he didn't put the skeleton in the moon. He put the skeleton next to the moon. But the opposite eye so happens to not show up at the same pole. Well, because that's how tricky he is. He will fake out his images. This, oh, this, you already, oh, th this is the uh, back of the Mona. Oh, on the next one in an hour. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, so let's put this off to the side and let's get into something else that I want to show you. This, this image right here is the Mona Lisa again. Let me get it out. My mouse and the pad's not big enough. Okay, so when we get this here again, we're going to show you how this particular image, if you take a look real good, which is difficult to do. Now, the, the, the highlight one's the next one. Okay, the next one, and you're going to stare at it. You can screen shoot it. You can kiss it. You can love it. If you take a look in the Mona, now this has got nothing to do with mine, but just except for the sense of letting you know what he does in his his works. Okay, now this is the slant of the nose. This is the slant of the nose. The eye, the eye, the eye, the eye. This is the body and it flows on down. This is where he hides it. He metaphors it not only from a dog into a, a horse and into a skull of his lover. He metaphors in many different images like I told you Michael Jackson in black and white. Watch the video and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Okay, you may say I'm coming from Mars, space, and whatnot. Did you hear about today? They're talking about that they were uh, that we found another new another another planet. Now, you ready for the highlight? Are you? Come on, raise your hand. Boom! Here it comes. Okay, see. Well, first, oh, I did it too quick. Okay, I just want to let you know this is the Mona Lisa. This is the one that was going first. 
Okay, that is the Mona Lisa. Okay, now let me put this one side by side, and I'm going to show you another one that's highlighted first, which is the high, uh, part. This so happens to be, again, the Mona Lisa side by side. This is out of my painting. This is the Mona Lisa. You can see the two face to face. They are twins. Now, here comes the kicker for you to understand before we get into the one that show, gives you even a better highlight. Okay, is this. This image, again, is the skull. The skull. When you put it up side by side, what makes you even kind of even fall over even more? Wow! This guy is a magnificent metaphor. Metaphor. Look, he's got this skull, right? So what he does, he has this Mona. He uses part of her face here. And he takes, he takes this image here and he lays it in plants that I've seen even on billboards of women wearing like Medusa with the snakes. But he does it with the skull and he lays it across her. And that's what he did. He metaphored this image in the plants because here's the nose and he gives it the eyes and he, 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 he he, he takes, like we go outside and look at our plants, says it's a deer, it's an elephant, it's it's a hippo, it, it's a horse, it, it, it's a bird. You can see it in your plants. You go, wow, that's a cartoon, it looks like Snoopy. That's Leonardo da Vinci because he was into nature. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to do what I'm going to show you next. We're going to put these off to the side and I'm going to pump it right on up for you. And I'll get it up there so I can do my doodads and... Bam! There it is! A better image for you to see. This so happens to be, bam, side by side, what it is, it is the x-ray the, of the Mona Lisa, and this is going to be the Mona Lisa side by side. Those are twins, twins. My painting, Da Vinci the Mona Lisa, Da Vinci the Mona Lisa, the me Dion. The same, the same smile, the same portion. Then he takes this part and metaphors the image of the skull into a large plant, covering her and hiding her behind the bushes. She's peeking. She's peeking out at us and hiding. And those images that you see in the center of the Medeon, the Medeon is only probably one and a half grain of sand. If I'd be shocked if it's two grains of sand. I have pulled these images right. Now, don't forget, one hour from now, I hope it comes out. I didn't double check it, but I know that this is coming out. This is what I promise you. I have to do it, and I'll keep working on the other one on the back, and hopefully it comes out for you to understand. Hope it comes out clear. Listen, I need your help getting this to the Mona Lisa side by side. This is his diary. This is his registry. This is his will. This is all his friends. This is everything in which Da Vinci has put his heart, his love, his soul, his spirit, his money, his his friends. He put everything in here. And if you actually get into it, you'll actually see all his friends in my painting that, it, that he changes and hides in the bushes. These are all people. These are all images. You screenshot them please screen shoot it and keep learning and turn and turn it and I promise you you'll go through months and months of new images that you can't miss I will even zoom a little bit better for you there we go just a little bit better that way it doesn't blur out and let you know this is a Leonardo da Vinci painting needs your love needs your subscriptions needs your thumbs up put some thumbs up in there to let people know let's go see this YouTube let's go and pass the word let's tell the media let's tell where the Mona Lisa is throw in some emails up there let's rattle their chain listen Da Vinci didn't just paint the Mona when she was young he was obsessed with her he loved her he wanted her he married her it's in my painting you over a thousand YouTubes of telling you so and showing you so listen don't forget, we still have a variant out there. You know the social distance and the, and, and the protection. You also know about YouTube Kids. I highly recommend it, not affiliated in any way. And don't forget my prayers that I ask you to do. I want you to just pray and just be good, be honest. And that is with these words. May God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. I hope you love this YouTube. You are talking and you're seeing completely completely 100% real truth not to distort anything not to deceive you in any way okay and I love you guys okay may God bless the whole world universe and heavens and you have a nice night and 
uh, forgive me for my overexcitement. I'm excited. See my other tube in an hour. I hope it comes out as good. In Jesus' name, amen.